Herpes viridae, Wikipedia audio. Subfamily, Alpha herpes virini. Subfamily, Beta herpes virini. Subfamily, Gamma herpes virini. Viral structure. Herpes viridae is a large family of DNA viruses that cause diseases in animals, including humans. The members of this family are also known as herpes viruses. The family name is derived from the Greek word herpine, referring to the latent, recurring infections typical of this group of viruses. Herpes viridae can cause latent or lytic infections. At least five species of herpes viridae HSV1 and HSV2, varicella zoster virus, Epstein-Barr virus, and cytomegalovirus are extremely widespread among humans. More than 90% of adults have been infected with at least one of these, and a latent form of the virus remains in most people. Iltavirus, Marti virus, Simplex virus, Varicellovirus There are nine herpes virus types known to infect humans. Herpes simplex viruses 1 and 2, HSV1 and HSV2, varicella zoster virus, Epstein-Barr virus, human cytomegalovirus, human herpes virus 6A and 6B, human herpes virus 7, and Kaposi's sarcoma associated herpes virus. In total, there are more than 130 herpes viruses some of them from mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and mollusks. There are antiviral drugs that are effective against some kinds of herpes virus. Herpes viruses all share a common structure All herpes viruses are composed of relatively large double-stranded, linear DNA genomes encoding 100 to 200 genes encased within an icosahedral protein cage called the capsid which is itself wrapped in a protein layer called the tegument containing both viral proteins and viral mRNAs and a lipid bilayer membrane called the envelope. This whole particle is known as a virion. All herpes viruses are nuclear replicating the viral DNA is transcribed to mRNA within the infected cell's nucleus. Infection is initiated when a viral particle contacts a cell with specific types of receptor molecules on the cell surface. Following binding of viral envelope glycoproteins to cell membrane receptors, the virion is internalized and dismantled allowing viral DNA to migrate to the cell nucleus. Within the nucleus, replication of viral DNA and transcription of viral genes occurs. Cytomegalovirus, Murongolovirus, Proboscivirus, Rosiolovirus During symptomatic infection, infected cells transcribe lytic viral genes. In some host cells, a small number of viral genes termed latency-associated transcript accumulate instead. In this fashion the virus can persist in the cell indefinitely. While primary infection is often accompanied by a self-limited period of clinical illness, long-term latency is symptom-free. Reactivation of latent viruses has been implicated in a number of diseases. Following activation, Transcription of viral genes transitions from latency-associated LAT to multiple lytic genes, these lead to enhanced replication and virus production. Often, lytic activation leads to cell death. Clinically, lytic activation is often accompanied by emergence of nonspecific symptoms such as low-grade fever, headache, sore throat, malaise, and rash as well as clinical signs such as swollen or tender lymph nodes and immunological findings such as reduced levels of natural killer cells. Lymphocryptovirus, Macavirus, Percavirus, Radinovirus Herpes virus life cycle Group, DSDNA 
The herpes virus was first isolated from the blue wildebeest in 1960 by veterinary scientist Walter Plowright. The genus herpes virus was established in 1971 in the first report of the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses. This genus consisted of 23 viruses and four groups of viruses. In the second ICTV report in 1976 this genus was elevated to family level the Herpetoviridae. Because of possible confusion with viruses derived from reptiles this name was changed in the third report in 1979 to Herpesviridae. In this report the family Herpesviridae was divided into three subfamilies and five unnamed genera, 21 viruses were listed. In 2009 the family Herpesviridae was elevated to the order Herpesvirals. This elevation was necessitated by the discovery that the herpes viruses of fish and mollusks were only distantly related to those of birds and mammals. Two new families were created the family Elaherpesviridae which incorporates bony fish and frog viruses and the family Malacoherpesviridae which contains those of mollusks. This order currently has three families, three subfamilies plus one unassigned, 17 genera, 90 species and plus 48 as yet unassigned viruses. The system of naming herpes viruses was originated in 1973 and has been elaborated considerably since. The recommended naming system specified that each herpes virus should be named after the taxon to which its primary natural host belongs. The subfamily name is used for viruses from members of the family Bovidae or from primates and the host family name for other viruses. Human herpes viruses have been treated as an exception. Following the host-derived term, the word herpes virus is added, followed by an Arabic numeral. These last two additions bear no implied meaning about taxonomic or biological properties of the virus. Some exceptions to this system exist. A number of viruses' names are so widely used that it is impractical to attempt to insist on their replacement. This has led to a dual nomenclature in the literature for some herpes viruses. All herpes viruses described since this system was adopted have been named in accordance with it. The three mammalian subfamilies Alpha, Beta and Gamma arose approximately 180 million years ago to 220 million years ago. The major sublineages within these subfamilies were probably generated before the mammalian radiation of 80 million years ago to 60 million years ago. Speciations within sublineages took place in the last 80 million years probably with a major component of cospeciation with host lineages. Taxonomy Virus Naming System All the currently known bird and reptile species are alpha herpes viruses. Although the branching order of the herpes viruses has not yet been resolved, because herpes viruses and their hosts tend to co-evolve this is suggestive that the alpha herpes viruses may have been the earliest branch. Subfamily Alpha Herpes virini Genus Simplex Virus, Ateline Herpes Virus 1, Spider Monkey Herpes Virus, Bovine Herpes Virus 2 causes bovine mammillitis and pseudolumpiskin disease, Cercopithecine Herpes Virus 1, also known as Herpes B Virus, causes a herpes simplex-like disease in macaques, usually fatal if symptomatic and untreated in humans, Fruit Bat Alpha Herpes Virus 1, Leopard herpes virus 4, Macacina herpes virus 1, Macropodid herpes virus 2, Papian herpes virus 2. Evolution Immune system evasions CMVIL-10 MHC down regulation Human herpes virus types 
The date of evolution of the Altavirus genus has been estimated to be 200 million years ago while those of the Marti virus and Simplex genera have been estimated to be between 150 million years ago and 100 million years ago. Coretta Coretta herpes virus, Kelonid herpes virus 1, Kelonid herpes virus 2, Kelonid herpes virus 3, Kelonid herpes virus 4, Chelonia mitis herpes virus, Kuber herpes virus, Emidid herpes virus 1, Emidid herpes virus 2, Fibropapilloma associated herpes virus, Gerosorid herpes virus 1, Gerosorid herpes virus 2, Gerosorid herpes virus 3, Glyptomus herpes virus 1, Glyptomus herpes virus 2, Iguanid herpes virus 1, Iguanid herpes virus 2, Loggerhead orocutaneous herpes virus, Lung eutrachia associated herpes virus, Palomduzid herpes virus 1, Red eared slider herpes virus, Teropony herpes virus 1, Teropony herpes virus 2, Testudinid herpes virus 1, Testudinid herpes virus 2, Testudinid herpes virus 3, Testudinid herpes virus 4, Varinid herpes virus 1, Subfamily beta herpes virini, Genus Proboscivirus, Porcine herpes virus 2 causes inclusion body rhinitis in swine. Herpes viruses are known for their ability to establish lifelong infections. One way this is possible is through immune evasion. Herpes viruses have many different ways of evading the immune system. One such way is by encoding a protein mimicking human interleukin 10 and another is by downregulation of the major histocompatibility complex 2 in infected cells. Research conducted on cytomegalovirus indicates that the viral human IL-10 homologue, CMVIL-10, is important in inhibiting pro-inflammatory cytokine synthesis. The CMVIL-10 protein has 27% identity with HIL-10 and only one conserved residue out of the nine amino acids that make up the functional site for cytokine synthesis inhibition on HIL-10. There is, however, much similarity in the functions of HIL-10 and CMVIL-10. Both have been shown to down-regulate IFN gamma, IL-1-alpha, GMCSF, IL-6 and TNF-alpha, which are all pro-inflammatory cytokines. They have also been shown to play a role in downregulating MHCI and MHC2 and upregulating HLAG. These two events allow for immune evasion by suppressing the cell mediated immune response and natural killer cell response, respectively. The similarities between HIL 10 and CMVIL 10 may be explained by the fact that HIL 10 and CMVIL 10 both use the same cell surface receptor, the HIL 10 receptor. One difference in the function of HIL 10 and CMVIL 10 is that HIL 10 causes human peripheral blood mononuclear cells to both increase and decrease in proliferation, whereas CMVIL 10 only causes a decrease in proliferation of PBMCs. This indicates that CMVIL 10 may lack the stimulatory effects that HIL 10 has on these cells. Zoonotic herpes viruses it was found that CMVIL-10 functions through phosphorylation of the STAT3 protein. It was originally thought that this phosphorylation was a result of the JAK-STAT pathway. However, despite evidence that JAK does indeed phosphorylate STAT3, its inhibition has no significant influence on cytokine synthesis inhibition. Another protein, PI3K, was also found to phosphorylate STAT3. PI3K inhibition, unlike JAK inhibition, did have a significant impact on cytokine synthesis. 
The difference between PI3K and JAK in STAT3 phosphorylation is that PI3K phosphorylates STAT3 on the S727 residue whereas JAK phosphorylates STAT3 on the Y705 residue. This difference in phosphorylation positions seems to be the key factor in STAT3 activation leading to inhibition of pro-inflammatory cytokine synthesis. In fact, when a PI3K inhibitor is added to cells, the cytokine synthesis levels are significantly restored. The fact that cytokine levels are not completely restored indicates there is another pathway activated by CMVIL-10 that is inhibiting cytokine system synthesis. The proposed mechanism is that CMVIL-10 activates PI3K which in turn activates PKB. PKB may then activate MTOR, which may target STAT3 for phosphorylation on the S727 residue. Another one of the many ways in which herpes viruses evade the immune system is by down-regulation of MHCI and MHC2. This is observed in almost every human herpes virus. Down regulation of MHCI and MHC2 can come about by many different mechanisms, most causing the MHC to be absent from the cell surface. As discussed above, one way is by a viral chemokine homologue such as IL-10. Another mechanism to down-regulate MHCs is to encode viral proteins that detain the newly formed MHC in the endoplasmic reticulum. The MHC cannot reach the cell surface and therefore cannot activate the T-cell response. The MHCs can also be targeted for destruction in the proteasome or lysosome. The ER protein TAP also plays a role in MHC down regulation. Viral proteins inhibit TAP preventing the MHC from picking up a viral antigen peptide. This prevents proper folding of the MHC and therefore the MHC does not reach the cell surface. It is important to note that HLAG is often upregulated in addition to downregulation of MHCI and MHC2. This prevents the natural killer cell response. There are nine distinct viruses in this family known to cause disease in humans. In addition to the herpes viruses considered endemic in humans, some viruses associated primarily with animals may infect humans. These are zoonotic infections. In animal virology, the best known herpes viruses belong to the subfamily Alpha Herpes virini. Research on Pseudorabies virus, the causative agent of Oyaski's disease in pigs, has pioneered animal disease control with genetically modified vaccines. PRV is now extensively studied as a model for basic processes during lytic herpes virus infection, and for unraveling molecular mechanisms of herpes virus neurotropism, whereas bovine herpes virus 1, the causative agent of bovine infectious rhinotracheitis and pustular vulvovaginitis, is analyzed to elucidate molecular mechanisms of latency. The avian infectious laryngotracheitis virus is phylogenetically distant from these two viruses and serves to underline similarity and diversity within the alpha herpes virini. Reptilian alpha herpes viruses Animal herpes viruses Research is currently ongoing into a variety of side effect or CO conditions related to the herpes viruses. These include Research, 